All right. Interesting game. 100 miles up the road from me. Pittsburgh, 34th meeting all time between John Harbaugh and Mike Tomlin. Pittsburgh Steelers. It goes from panic to, okay, we'll be fine. Panic. Okay, we'll be fine. Panic. Okay, we'll be fine. Right now, it's panic for the Pittsburgh Steelers as the Ravens come in as four-point favorites in Pittsburgh with an over-under of only 38, the lowest of the week. Chris, do the Ravens win again and move to 4-1, and one, or do the Steelers find a way to press the panic button for now until it's time to panic again? Well, I think they're going to press the panic button. I'm not sold it's going to result in a win. Uh, I'm not there. Now, like uh, the Steelers, you know, as you've mentioned nine million times since we worked together, this is this is a Steelers moment. Play like shit last week, right? They got out physical, out coached, everything, and then this is the week where you go, oh, I count them out. They look like crap, and they come back and win a football game. I I think this is going to be a real good football game. I don't think they're going to win it. I don't. Uh, what, what? Hey, it looks like the Ravens are going to be somewhat healthy on offense. I think the Ravens, I'm hoping after watching that film last week against the Browns, their big thing is run the f- ball. Start there, and then everything will go from there, right? I think in the first few weeks, they were a little bit too like, oh, we paid Lamar. We got these receivers. We got to throw the ball. We got Todd Munkin. We got to prove that this was all worth it and all that. Now, just You still got one of the best running schemes and a big physical O-line. Run the ball, and all the other stuff will start to happen, and people will be open. The, the offense is looking better. I don't have a ton of faith in the Steelers' defense. You know that. I think the Ravens will run on this Steelers' defense, just like the Texans did last week a little too. And I'd have no faith still in the Steelers' offense. I don't. And I think the Ravens' defense is damn good. I'm going Ravens 21-20, close football game. So you got the Steelers covering at least. At least. You're splitting the, splitting splitting the, the baby on this. I am. Threading the needle. Yep. I had an epiphany yesterday about the Steelers running backs. This was when you were off because you don't work on Wednesdays during the season. Miles Simmons and I were talking about Mike Tomlin's comments about the Steelers not having the physicality necessary against the Houston Texans. They're going to start practicing in pads more often. The pad level was lower for the Texans. Texans were more prepared to match the Steelers and exceed the Steelers when it comes to physicality. It occurred to me, I think one of the reasons why Tomlin is in the Najee Harris camp, even though Najee Harris doesn't have the burst or the acceleration, he's got the toughness. He's got the grit. He's got the physicality that Tomlin wants the rest of the team to emulate. And I think we're going to see Tomlin insist on more Najee Harris. He was one of the only bright spots last week. For the Steelers, 71 rushing yards, had one catch for 30-plus yards. Physicality from Najee Harris. We're going to see a lot of it, and this is pasta and meatballs. This is 50 years of living in and around Pittsburgh. This is a moment that the Steelers rise up and for now put out the fire going into their bye week. This is critical. This is throw everything you have at the wall, everything you've got at the Baltimore Ravens, everything you have to do to get a win before you regroup and refocus and reload for everything that's going to come after the bye week. Steelers win 16-13. Book it. I'm not going to go best bet, but I feel very strong. Uh, And you're dead. Don't count. Put your money where your mouth is. is The kind of win (laughs) that this this is the kind of game the Steelers win. There's no guarantees with the Ravens, but this is exactly the kind of game the Steelers win. Yo, yo, what up, homies? Thanks for watching. Remember, subscribe to Chris Sims on Button. Right now, we got Sunday pod, right? So you can have it Monday morning. We recap all the action. Wednesday, it's the What the F*** Happened podcast. We're going to get deep in the weeds on the key matchups of the week. And then Thursday, I'm picking games with that jerk Florio. So you know where to find us, homies. Keep watching. Peace out. We'll see you.